together and help me to welcome Julie Dowling. My name is Julie Daniluk, and I'm a TV host, nutritionist, and author of Meals That Heal Inflammation, and now Slimming Meals That Heal. The new book was created because so many people were attracted to the anti-inflammatory foods, and they found they were losing weight without having to go on a strict diet, which is so exciting, that I collected so many new recipes that truly help you slim down, yet you get the flavor. You get all that delicious, fun, wonderful food, too redness or heat, those are the symptoms. So I'm a nutritionist first and foremost, and I was so excited that I was able to heal from terrible arthritis and colitis personally, because I had terrible food poisoning while traveling through Thailand, and it ripped a, a serious uh, hole through my gut. It was so bad at one point that um, I could barely leave my house. I was constantly crippled up with pain. And I hit a wall where I had to do something and luckily was able to find the anti-inflammatory foods. And by embracing those hardcore for two years, I'm now in complete remission. I have no joint pain and also have complete remission of colitis, which is a very serious bowel condition. So I'm so happy that I think I bring that to the table, the fact that I have an amazing uh, history of recovery, doubled with my scientific knowledge as a nutritionist. So there is ways around that. Inflammation is the body's emergency healing response, and it happens when you have some terrible emergency. So you either have a major infection that happens, or you have a hormonal imbalance that's occurred, or you have a terrible injury that's happened, and your body has to come to your rescue. So we have to stop seeing inf um, the inflammation as a horrible thing, as much as just the alarm bell. We, we keep wanting to kill the messenger, so we take terrible uh, drugs that suppress inflammation, but there's side effects of those drugs. The beauty of em embracing anti-inflammatory superfoods is that you end up having the benefit of the pain dying off, but you also have all the side benefits because these foods are also powerfully antioxidant, so they're gonna help to delay aging, they're gonna help to truly help you reach that vitality that you're after. So that's what I love about the natural approach, is that there is no harmful side effects when we embrace anti-inflammatory foods. So the foods that you really want to embrace include dark leafy green vegetables because they're packed with the highest amounts of nutrition. So kale, arugula, broccoli, cabbage, these are powerhouses of anti-inflammatory nutrition. And then you really want to focus on essential fats, good oils that kind of lubricate the joints, heal up the digestive system, and one of the best ones is small fish. They provide, like anchovies and sardines, they supply an incredible amount of healing omega-3 oil. One of the best healers, one of the most incredible anti-inflammatory foods would have to be the small fish. Sardines and anchovies provide omega-3 that's pre-converted in a beautiful format. It, know that this special oil is called eicosapentaenoic acid, or EPA for short, and it literally switches off pain and inflammation in the body. So I highly recommend people checking out small fish, and if you're not attracted to eating fresh sardines for dinner, then that's when using a beautiful product like nutri -C, the nutri -C fish oil, it's, it's actually distilled so all of the fishiness is removed and power packed with a lemon or mango or apple flavor so that you can enjoy the flavor of the oil, put in a salad dressing, put into a smoothie for breakfast. It's a very easy oil to incorporate. We're gonna have such a fun time understanding how our body has an inflammatory state, what is inflammation and how we can By having face-to-face -face interaction with people, I think they're more enrolled in trying on the anti-inflammatory lifestyle. I call it the live it instead of a diet. And we love having people embrace this live it because it means real serious change. And if you can touch them one by one, I find it really enrolling. So I love that I've had an opportunity to hit 20 different cities across Canada. And I can't believe Kingston is my 19th tour stop, which is just fantastic that we've had thousands of people understand anti-inflammatory foods. And, and I think it is so important. This is the number one thing you can do for yourself because let's face it, 
If you deal with the inflammation in your body, you're going to reduce arthritis, bursitis, cystitis, diverticulitis, gastritis, all these different pieces of inflammation. Anything with itis in it, heart disease, any serious disorder, has inflammation in the background. So that's why I'm so excited to share today. It blows up at work and all of a sudden we are just fast tracked to whatever comfort food we could possibly see. I would love to share by internet because not everyone can make it to the live lecture. So check out my website, juliedaniluk.com, and that's D-A-N-I-L-U-K.com. And also check out my Facebook feed, which is Julie Daniluk Nutrition. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, at Julie Daniluk. And the reason why it's so cool to head there is that you get a free anti-inflammatory handout, beautiful poster for you to understand the anti-inflammatory foods in a glance, and a three-day anti-inflammatory detox so that you can try it on for free, which is really fun. Walk on stage and meet him as just another wonderful human being and have a connected moment with him. So thank goodness by the time I was actually